All righty, Mikey. You all ready for our adventure this week or what, bud? I'm actually super pumped about this adventure. It's gonna be great. Yeah, you know, when uh, folks at K&M had suggested that we experience one of their Uncharted Society providers, I was just like, damn straight, hook us up. And I couldn't think of a better guy to take along on the trip than you. Well, I appreciate the invite, man, for sure. You know, I haven't been out to this part of Canada in about 30 years. So to be able to come out here and ride K&M ATVs and have such an awesome experience, like the cool thing about Uncharted Society is it's BRP working with all these outfitters. I think there's like 175 outfitters across 12 countries. And there's like literally hundreds of different adventures that you can go on. And it's not just off-road either. No, I mean, they cater to uh, pretty much uh, any product that they sell, they have an experience that, that caters towards it. So if you're into fishing, you can go out to the South Keys of Florida and you can do a really cool fishing expedition. If you're into snowmobiling, you can go up to uh, Alaska to do some really cool tours. That's awesome. Um, and the other thing that I really, really like about Uncharted Society is that it doesn't just appeal to guys like you and I who own off-road vehicles and wants to maybe just be able to sort of like not have to drive to the destination, but can sort of just go out, fly, and experience some of like these worldly adventures. But the other thing that's really good about it is it brings new blood into the sport. Yeah. The outfitter that we're gonna be hooked up with this week is Toby Creek Adventures. They're located in Panorama, BC. Spectacular views. And they offer both ATV and side-by-side -side adventures. And they're super, super amped to have us out there, but I can tell you, not nearly as amped as I am to go out there. Yeah, like we're gonna be, we're gonna be riding ATVs one day and side by sides the next day, with the, and, and going up into the mountains and doing some riding. Yeah, it's gonna be a great way to sort of showcase what Uncharted Society is all about and, yeah. and to try it firsthand. So. Yeah. Hey, welcome, boys. Hey, Dean, pleasure to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. Hey, Dean, thanks for having hey, Mike. us. Mitch, pleasure you. to meet you, Mitch. Hey, awesome. Mitch. Right on. Well, welcome to Toby Creek Adventures, fellas. Yeah, thank, thank you. We're How excited. We Going to show you a great, great viewing of what we offer here on our ATV tours. All right, so we're going to take you up to the old Paradise Silver Mine. All right, Mitch will be guiding you. That's we, cool. And today yeah. we're going to be focused on ATVs. Correct, yeah. So we'll have you on the uh, Can-Am 570s. So we've got the Outlander Maxis, so you'll be both riding one of those. Beautiful. All right. And then tomorrow we'll show you the... Uh, the big commander. Here we go. Sweet. Perfect. Yeah, looking forward to this. Bolt. Man, that is a beautiful view out there. It's a little stop that we like to make guys on our tour, uh, just to make sure everyone's doing good, but uh, also a pretty cool view, right? You can uh, you can see Toby Creek drainage down there, a uh, local ski hill panorama. Uh, more importantly though, you can see where we're heading. So all the way up there to that ridge line on the right up in the Alpine. So that's, uh, we've got our cabin up there. That's where uh, Paradise Mine is. And uh, that's our end goal. About uh, 8,000 feet elevation up there. We just came up about, uh, about four kilometers of trail and uh, about a thousand feet elevation. That's sweet. And we're gonna be diverting off this main trail for a little bit and stopping out a waterfall as well? Yeah, so our uh, next stop's gonna be at a waterfall and then just beyond that, there's a little single track trail that we'll go to. It's an old trapper's cabin. You get to the base of a really cool mountain. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, this is uh, the waterfall area that we're gonna go and check out? This is our waterfall, yeah. So uh, this is another one of the, nice, the stops that, uh, that we like to make. Just about a six second walk up this hill here. Now, if uh, beer commercials have taught me anything, that right there is glacier fresh kokanee coming right <laughs> out of the mountains. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice, holy. If you're gonna go on an ATV tour, then you have accessibility to some other cool little landmarks that you would not have access to on a side-by-side. -side. Sure. So we got to that trapper's cabin, and then what was also cool is that 50 feet beneath that trapper's cabin or so, there was the top of the waterfall. Yeah, that was wicked. There's that little stream running, and then it just falls off, you know, 50, 50 feet, 100 feet. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty- plus, for sure. The view was just incredible. And 
I guess we have arrived, haven't we? That's right. Welcome to the, uh, the Summit of Paradise Ridge here, guys. We've, uh, we've got the Rocky Mountains just over here. We're in the middle of the, of the Purcell Mountains, sitting at about 8,000 feet elevation with 2,600 meters. We made it to the top. I, I love the uh, variety of terrain that we've gone through today. Typically, what would this be? About three hour tour? Just about three hours. I think one of the things that uh, everyone should sort of consider when they're seeing this segment is as crazy as this may seem to some people, you know, we're getting up to this summit. Skill level for being able to do this doesn't have to be advanced. Not totally, no. I mean, we do a lot of training and throughout the day when we're getting people up here to try to make them get up as high as we can. You know, a little bit of experience is always nice, but uh, you definitely don't have to be an expert to get up. No, not at all. It was a really cool experience, you know, e easy for beginners, just like you, Vern. It was your first day on an ATV, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were gonna talk about that. Boom! <laughs>
as you mentioned earlier, is 175 plus. Mm. Uh, Across around, 12 countries. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and so there's and literally there, hundreds of tours you can go on. Hundreds and hundreds yeah. of different destinations. So, you know, you as an avid rider being able to come out here to have the confidence that that outfitter is fully certified, meaning that they have full insurance, they've got qualified employees, experienced guides, a lot of them already hire mechanics mm. to take care of the machines. And they have quality BRP equipment. I think one of the other things that really added to our experience, why it was so good, is that we went with a guide that had 27 plus years experience. Toby Creek has been around, what, since 1996, he said? And they have like dozens of guides that have all these experiences as well. And so, you know, that's one of the things for someone to take into consideration. If you're gonna be going out and wanting to seek out some of these experiences, do your research, investigate that site that uh, BRP has and go with an outfitter that has all that uh, experience. So yeah, over the past two years when we've been a part of the Uncharted Society, it has provided some benefits for us. We get earlier access to machines, whether it be the newer models, get easier access to parts, allows us to have a big stock on hand so that we can keep all of our machines up to tick and ready to go on a daily basis. I have to say my favorite part about guiding though is when we take clientele down at the end of the day and they talk about how that we've shown them the best day of their lives. We get people who walk away being more interested. We get people who come absolutely scared, never have done anything like this before. And when they walk away, they're blown away with, uh, with themselves. Now, some of Mitch's comments about how those people that have just experienced off-roading for the first time or snowmobiling in the winter for the first time, have walked away considering that yeah. they're, they're interested in getting into the market. Yeah, you gotta get them on the seat of a vehicle if you wanna get them into the sport. Yeah, so programs like this, I think are great for the, for the whole community. Agreed. We came, we saw, we conquered. We Our did first it, Uncharted Society experience was, by all counts, a success, I would say. I would say, it's, I'd say amazing, actually, yeah. yeah. Yeah, working with Vernon and Mike over the past couple of days has been amazing. Fun, easygoing, awesome. We've had some complications with weather, but I think it uh, it all turned out well. Hopefully you guys had uh, had a great time too. Every weather pattern in uh, in the entire season, for sure. D that's the thing, and who would have guessed it would have been snowing here in July? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Joking. Joking. Yeah, I mean, I was looking for something that was incredibly experiential. I was looking for something that was gonna get my adrenaline going. And are you driving today? Totally got my adrenaline going. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank Full you. Full props to you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>